This was another decent sequel. Let's talk about Bad Boys, Ride or Die. A movie that should have probably been called Bad Boys for Life, but they unfortunately used that for the third installment for whatever reason. But again, Bad Boys, the return of Will Smith to theaters after the infamous lap. And I think this is an excellent Bad Boys movie, surprisingly. I think it surpasses a lot of the movies within the four movies that have been made. Um, right now, I'm, I think it's in my top two, I ain't gonna lie. I think it's better than the first movie? I don't know, I don't know. I don't know if it's that movie high. I think it was phenomenal. Bad Boys Ride or Die was really funny. Martin Lawrence steals the show. I had watched Blue Streak, another Martin Lawrence classic, and I was like, wow, why doesn't anyone hire this guy anymore? This guy was hilarious. And they finally let him do his thing, because in the last Bad Boys movie, he was kind of limited. It kind of became the Will Smith show there. In this one, it felt much more balanced and Martin Lawrence was really allowed to be himself, allowed to take the spotlight when it when it was time. And he did a phenomenal job. He really steals the movie. Uh, this movie's plot is very simple. Um, Will Smith's character and Martin Lawrence's character are going to try to clear up the name of their beloved captain because some suspicious dude is trying to frame their captain for uh, drug money transactions. They're trying to figure out why they're doing that and they're trying to clear the name of their beloved captain. You kind of can see how things are going to play out except for one scene. One scene was completely unexpected. Absolutely unexpected and I think it was the highlight of the movie and that scene highlights our boy Reggie who was last seen in Bad Boys 2. So I'll just leave it at that if you haven't already been spoiled by TikTok for that scene. Because um, yeah, that scene actually was gold. Which brings me to my other point. This movie was sneakily one of the best choreographed action movies of 2024. Not that there have been that many action movies in 2024, but Despite that, I think this movie introduced some choreography and some camera work I haven't seen. Especially the camera work. There was a lot of drones used in some indoor fights. I've seen drones used outdoors, kind of like uh, most famously uh, Ambu LAN's <laughs> ambulance. Uh, that Michael Bay movie used a lot of drones. And in this one, they used drones indoors, which I think was... I really personally haven't seen that in a movie, uh, especially a big time movie like Bad Boys. So seeing that and seeing that done well, it just felt like another way of seeing the action sequence. And I think a lot of movies should actually look at what Bad Boys did here because there's a lot to learn and a lot to uh, use because some innovative camera work to, when it comes to action sequences. I, I really enjoyed that. Um, did not expect that from Bad Boys. Uh, I know Bad Boys was one of those movies that kind of like, not revolutionized the action genre, but uh, they're, they're, they're responsible for adding a lot of flair, that slow-mo, that Michael Bay slow-mo that we're all accustomed to by now. Uh, I mean, that started off with Bad Boys, I would say. I honestly enjoyed Bad Boys a lot. I highly recommend it. If it's still playing in theaters, go watch it. Uh, it's it's a funny movie, there's a lot to laugh at, there's a lot to enjoy. It's a good sequel. Uh, I think it beat the third one, and I, like I said, I think it's better than the first. I don't know, I don't know, I, I gotta rewatch them. It's been a minute, I gotta rewatch them, but I honestly enjoyed it a little bit more than the other ones, I don't know. Definitely more than the third one, for sure. And the third one was fun too. But uh, yeah, Bad Boys does it again. Did you already watch Bad Boys or did you not? Let me know down in the comments below. And again, this movie is still in theaters in some places and if not I will in the comment section put where the movie will be streaming just in case the video comes out a little late.